Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing boil tests on this Heine pot replacement that I got from Batch Stoves. This is Batch Stoves 22 ounce ultralight cook pot, meant to be a replacement for the Heine pot and the uh, foster pot that people like to use. One of the problems, not problems, but one of the things that happens with this is it has a very small diameter across the bottom. So it doesn't give you a lot of surface for the alcohol stove to hit. I've been doing tests with the Batch Stoves BS 1.0. It's a jetted stove, works pretty good, nice time. But I just think that there's got to be some other ways to uh, be able to utilize and get a flame right up through the middle spreading out. Yesterday I tried this stove. Um, they got it to a boil, one fluid ounce of alcohol. If I remember right, it was something like what 11 minutes 29 seconds to get to a boil and then it burned out at 18 minutes but looking through my collection I remembered this one it's a wick alcohol stove that I got on eBay some time ago something like five bucks I think this has a stand on it so that the pot will stand right over top of the two wicks that's on here and it fits so with something like this the flame should go right up through the middle and hit the bottom of the top pot and spread. So I want to try this burner today. So let me get some water prepped, some alcohol in here, and I'll be back for a test. I've got my water prepped. I've got one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters of methanol in here. Let's light it. This is one of the good things about wick stoves. Start right up. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Here we are two minutes into the test. The temperature's up to 87 degrees. Not exactly a speed demon. I'm not sure why the flames are all so yellow. As far as I know, all that's ever been used in this has been alcohol. Now this is, um, this burner, or this stove rather, is somewhat adjustable. You can move the wicks up and down. So these are up fairly high maybe too high. The uh, room temperature I didn't mention was 79 degrees or 26.11 degrees centigrade, humidity 62 and it's cloudy out. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay this is a little disappointing. I'm already past the time that it took using the batch stoves BS1 burner, the stove rather. I shouldn't I don't get me wrong, I'm not disappointed. I really just thought this would work better, a wick type burner like this. With the BS1, the one time I got was 6 minutes 3 seconds, the other one was 5 minutes 44 using one fluid ounce of methanol. Uh, we're now, we're up to 6 minutes 37 seconds and it's only up to 151 degrees. I think you can see it's a nice wide pattern of the flame across the bottom of the pot again I'm not sure why it's all yellow. Uh, there is about an inch between the top of the wick to the bottom of the pot. Maybe the wicks could have been brought down a little bit. Don't know. I don't know. Just don't. Well, we'll see how long it takes yet to get to boiling. There we have 210. Oops, back to 210. 211. Come on. 212 in 11 minutes, 23 seconds. Hmm, not real good. Okay, let's let this go and see how long before it runs out. I wanted to show you a little something with this. I think there was supposed to be water in the tank here to keep this thing cool. But uh, in all of the wick stoves I had, I didn't need that. But it looks like on this one something's wrong. Alcohol is leaking out through the cover and the body. There is a jet hole on the top between the two wicks, but apparently it's not large enough to let the the uh, vapor gas come out through there. So it's forcing ouch, forcing it out through the cap here. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, with a little bit bigger jet on the top here, that probably shouldn't have happened. 
Okay, it looks like we're just about ready to run out here. It's going. See, it's still leaking out there. The wicks are glowing, so that means they're not getting alcohol anymore. Going. Just that one little... Actually, I think what's burning there is the vapors coming up through the small jet hole. Yeah, that's what I really think is burning there, up through a small jet hole between the two wicks. Okay, it's still going. What I usually use for a gauge is when the first time it drops one degree or the flames go out, whichever happens first. There it is. So that was 1857 it looked like for a run out. 1857. I don't know. Not exactly what I expected from this. When you look at a fancy rig like this, you'd think you would get some decent times, but uh, I don't know. So what we had here was on this one, like I said, this was some burner that I got off eBay. It's an alcohol wick stove. And uh, Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 11 minutes 23 seconds and then ran out in 18 minutes 57. I got those kind of times out of just a little can with a couple of wicks put on it. With this one yesterday, the water boiled in 11 minutes 29 seconds. This one was a whole six seconds faster and then it burned until 18 minutes, although this one burned almost a minute more. I don't know, it's beginning to make it look like the uh, batch stove's BS 1.0 stove is about the best one so far for this, even though I think the diameter on this is a little bit wide for that pot. But still, the times that we got on this for boiling was, uh, what, 5 minutes 54 seconds and 6 minutes 3 seconds. And then it pretty much went out right after that. So, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so, sorry, that's another test that kind of, you know, not so great. But I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.